What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Brutal Planet Comics. I'm your host, Trey the Brute Daniels. Welcome to an episode of Brutal Rant. Well, you already know what time it is, but, 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 we're not gonna cue the booze. <gasps> Yes, your gasps are warranted. Yes, we're going into Young Justice episode 24. I believe that's where I'm at. Episode 24. And this episode is not a highlight, but it looks like that for the first time in this entire series, they actually tried to build to something. So we'll talk about it a little bit. And um, yeah, so this wasn't this episode wasn't offensive to all five senses. All right, so let's just jump right into it. Okay, this intro is kind of weird. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, um, Baby Zod <laughs> goes to Oa, which was kind of kind of weird design, but whatever, um, to their prison uh, to go and uh, get information on the Kaiser Thrall. Um, and he meets Tomer Ray 2. Huh. They they could have did better for the names. I was, he's the son of, of uh, Tomer Ray, who had passed away. Um, and he asked about the Kaiser Thrall, and he finds out that it's been removed off-world and all that stuff. So, so the setup is cool. It's, it's kind of picking up back on where baby zod left off when he uh, after the uh, accounts on new genesis so you know which was actually the best episode of this entire series so you know it's pretty good so of course he hops in um bioship and makes kid flat i'm still a little confused in this hostage situation but but anyway it's it's all pretty much set up for them to hey we're gonna go we're gonna follow the last location and all that great stuff so we're gonna head to earth wonderful stuff our villains are clear-cut we understand what they're trying to do this doesn't happen too often in the show i'm happy so things got a little weird when they were dealing with the kaiser thrall so apparently inside the kaiser thrall there is the brain of danny chase or daniel chase now for those that aren't familiar with Danny Chase. He was a, one of the members of the Teen Titans way, way, way back um, in the day, and he was not liked very well or received well by the fans at all. He had telekinesis. I think that's the only power he had. But anyway, so basically the story is that his brain has been put into the Kaiser Thrall, and that's... So he's basically being tortured forever. They don't really explain why... They show like flashbacks how he got captured on Earth and stuff, but it didn't really explain why he was chosen. Or may may maybe he is a member of the Teen Titans in this universe. And they, nobody cares. I don't know. They didn't really explain this very well. This was kind of weird. I guess it was just a moment of pulling your heartstrings. Uh, McGann, you know, contacts him uh, uh, through her telepathy and stuff, and you see all the torturous things he's gone through. I, this didn't feel necessary. I feel they were just here to, you know. Get the little baby violin going, you know. But um, but you know, I mean, but it wasn't, you know, wasn't terrible. So, uh, we gotta talk about this crap. Okay, every time any of these forger characters are on screen, I just cringe and my brow just folds up. Forger was talking about Forger. Forger looks forward to seeing Forger, and Forger is happy to see Forger. I'm happy to. Ah, golly. The mess is annoying. Crap, man. <laughs> but anyway, the, 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 some of the members of the Justice League, they come together. It's like, all right, let's make a plan. Um, we we believe that Connor might still be alive. Well, let's try to get in contact with Nightwing and all them. So on and so forth. Um, you know, and um, of course, they get this idea because Phantom Girl goes to Mars, explains the whole situation to the king. And he comes and, you know, vouches for them and all that other great stuff. So, they're like, okay, we know he's alive. Let's make a plan. And by God, this was a good plan. Ooh, yeah. This was a good plan. So, they call Orion to get a mother box um, so they can boom tube to a planet called um, Thrombus, which has a red sun. 
because they understand that the Phantom Zone is just filled with Kryptonians. So like, hey, let's let's open up a boom tube. Let's not do it here because they'll kill us all. Let's go to a planet where they'll have no powers, open up a boom tube so if things go wrong, we'll be good. And I was like, hey, this is a good plan. I like this plan. It was really, really good. So they go and do that. Meanwhile, and, and once again, this is one of those things. Superboy being the mindless drone thing. I still don't like this. I still don't, I still don't like the, how he reverted back, even though he was able to confirm that his friends were actually really there. It didn't snap him back at all. That was kind of weak. That was kind of lame. I didn't really like that because I felt like, like seeing them in person would be the key to him. Because he had the flashbacks of their friendship. And then nothing happened. I thought that was kind of weak. But, you know, but um, our heroes, um, the Scooby and the gang, uh, <laughs> uh, Tigress, Rocket, Nightwing, Zatanna, they get their butt, they, they, they they butt cheeks handed to them because they, they're not used to Phantom Zone and all that stuff. So that stuff was cool. That stuff worked for me. Um, except for, you know, the Superboy thing. They... They, they just need to cut that. Let's just cut that completely. So, then things get really juicy. So, um, Superman and uh, uh, Danny Chase and um, McGann, Black Lightning, and Forager all show up um, at Rhombus. And they're, and they're like, oh, okay, we're going to open up a portal and get Superboy out of there. Um... In between that, um, uh, Malifa Ock impersonated one of the Legion's uh, superheroes and communicated with Phantom Girl. And so he ends up figuring out their plan, goes there, for, mind erases uh, Danny Chase, which was really cool. And then takes control of the Kaiser Thrall and just starts paralyzing everybody. And then lets Zod in, lets Zod out of the Phantom Zone and his wife and the minions. Uh, and I'm like, hey, and like, and like, okay, this, like, with Superboy, um, having this apprehension because he's like, he can feel him again, but it's still kind of weird what they're doing with him. Still don't really like it. But Zod is back out, and Baby Zod comes and greets him, and that's how this episode ends. I gotta say, um, they're trying to set up something cool. Um, took them long enough. Took 24 episodes to try to set up something good. Weak, but you know better late than never i guess so so I'm, I'm happy to see if they're actually trying to do something um yeah they're actually trying to do something so i'm actually looking forward to the next two episodes um I, I'm, I'm well aware that the other two episodes have already came out i'm just late to the party that's about it i got a bazillion other things to do um but yeah so what do you think about this episode do you think episode 24 was actually any good let me know in the comment section below um don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the video oh and check out my obi-wan reviews they're getting they're getting tangy to say the least <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on all those dope social media platforms you see over there you all have been awesome and i'll catch you all next time also if you want to support my channel uh, check out spinwiz.com or download the spinwiz app and check out my comic series trouble it was written with a lot of love, and it was definitely my favorite comic series to write. I've also written it in English and in Spanish, so whatever floats your boat, I got it for you. Thanks again, and check it out.